Hi, when you're learning to play the ukulele, there's really two issues I found uh, of uh, ultimate importance. One is that my fingertips got very sore very, very quickly, and that acts as a demotivator because obviously you can't keep going back if you're feeling pain. And the other thing was that other people in the near vicinity to my practice were feeling pain also. Ear pain, you might call it. Because while I was practicing, I might have thought it was wonderful music, but to someone in um, hearing distance, it was like strangulated torture. So these are two issues that I'm going to address for beginners or um, uh, moderately successful people who still need to practice a lot. So the first thing to do is to get rid of the pain. So I'm just going to show you how I do this. I bought a pair of very light cotton gloves. Uh, I say the lightweight because uh, you still want to be able to feel the, where the frets are, where the cords are and so on. And um, so a thicker glove won't do that. But the lightweight cotton glove will protect your fingers to a certain extent. Not 100%, but certainly 75-80%. That gives you more encouragement to go back and play. So, you've got your gloves on. Both so I'm, I'm right-handed. Obviously you reverse the whole principle if, you, if you're a left-handed player. Okay, so I'm just going to show you one thing here about practicing. I'm going to make a chord of C. And that's my... Uh, third finger here on, on the third fret, okay, so the, that's a chord of C. Now, for practice, practicing purposes, I don't have to press hard. If I'm playing for seriously, then I do have to make a, a very, very clear sound. But if I'm practicing that chord for muscle memory's sake, to learn how to do that, I, don't, I just have to rest my finger just ever so lightly on it. And if I do it by itself, see, it's not distinct doesn't have to be. I'm just learning where my finger goes on the fret and on what string. That's all I'm doing in this case. That's all I need to do. Let's see. That'll, that's good enough for me. Okay. Same with G7. That's pressing down hard. I don't need to do that. Very, very soft. It's still quite good, isn't it? But I'm not exerting any pressure on that whatsoever, so I'm not going to hurt my fingers all that much. Let's so see, G7, so F, C7. Okay, here's where the right hand comes in now. I don't want to irritate someone in the near vicinity, or even the far vicinity, for that matter, because it's, these carry really these uh, these instruments. So they carry because when you when you strum that, it goes into the sound box, it's vibrated, and it's amplified. That's the whole nature of these instruments. I'm um, talking to you about, same applies for acoustic guitars in this, in this particular lesson. So that's what comes out. Now if I'm practicing, I'm, it's strangulated, and I'm trying to find things, and I can't, and I start, that is torture to anybody in the near vicinity. Okay? So avoid that. This is where your right hand glove comes in. There's two jobs. One, the fingers here protect your fingers so when you strike when you strike the chord, sorry, when you strike the strings, it's not going to strike your skin. And if you if you've done this a few times you find your, your skin makes contact rather than your nail and it becomes very, very sore, demotivating again. You don't want to demotivate demotivate yourself at all. Okay, so here's we go. I'm going to see if I can uh, swivel around here. If you can learn early on to put your palm, this is for practice purposes only, put your palm just over the bridge, this is called the bridge here, put your palm gently on that, uh, on that thing, so it's acting almost like a second bridge, but it's your bridge, and now just strum that. You can see how silent, it's a mute, it's called a musical mute. That's it, unmuted, that's it with the palm down. Now, I can practice coming around the mountains all day long without interrupting or interfering or irritating anybody. So this is coming around the mountains just as it would normally be practiced by anybody with the NC. So you be coming around Now I'm going to mute that. She'll be coming around Did you notice the difference? which is more livable with, if you're a listener. So we'll do the whole thing. I'll do a little bit more of uh, Coming Around the Mountains. I just picked it because it's a simple song to learn. She'll be coming around Coming around the mountain when she comes. Coming around the mountain when she comes. Coming around the mountain when she comes. Now, 
practice muted version. Palm, palm of your right hand gently on that. You don't want to break it, there's no need to just press on it nice and gently. And we do the same thing. Muscle memory. Come around the mountain, won't you come? Come around the mountain, come around the mountain, come around the mountain, won't you come? Cut it out. So I'll put a, a, a link below uh, where you can um, find these gloves. Uh, they're not. I just happen to have these. Uh, these are white medical gloves. It can be any time. Gotta be lightweight. Don't forget that. And the rest is up to you. And happy practicing. <laughs>